Hello and welcome to this film about predicting pH. It's basically the year 12 version of the year 11 film. You might remember that in year 11 we dealt with integer values of pH only, a nice simple powers of 10 for the H plus ion concentration. Now we're going to use our calculators. Um, we're going to deal with non-integer values of pH. We're going to calculate hydrogen ion concentrations and we're also going to use the equilibrium constant for water so that we can calculate the pH of basic solutions which is something we didn't have to do in year 11. Okay so let's start off with some acidic ones where we're calculating the pH from the concentration. In this first example we've got a strong monoprotic acid so 1 H plus ion for every HCl so the concentration of H plus will be the same as the concentration of the acid so that's 0.56 and the pH will be minus log of 0.56 and that equals 0.252 nice simple one to start with now this next one's a little bit more complicated because you need to watch out for the fact that sulfuric acid is diprotic it's also strong but in year 11 you could assume that both these ions would be lost in year 12 you can't do that okay you've got to remember that one of the first one is strong the second one is weak okay and that was mentioned in one of the films in year 11 okay so in other words the concentration of H plus here it's going to be higher than the concentration of H plus was there okay it's going to be greater than 0.56 but it's, going to, it's not going to be as much as twice as big. So in other words, it's going to be less than 1.12. So what can we say about the pH? Well, if the H plus ion concentration is greater than this, then the pH must be less than this value here. Right? We can't quantify this exactly, but we can say that the pH is going to be in a range. We can also say that the pH is going to be greater than it would be if we had this concentration of H+. So let's just calculate the pH if we did have this. Okay, It would be minus log of 1.12 and that would equal minus 0.0492. So in other words, my pH here will be in the range of between 0.252 and minus 0.0492 but I don't know where in that range it's going to be and if I'm doing waste chemistry I don't need to say where in that range it is I just need to appreciate that it is somewhere in that range okay right moving on these two problems are kind of in the wrong order in a way because this one is is like the problems we've just been doing okay so I'm actually going to deal with this one first we've got a weak acid here okay we know that it's monoprotic or we should know okay it's got one H that it can lose the concentration of H plus now is going to be less than 0.56 moles per liter okay which means that the pH will simply be greater than the one that we found when the concentration was exactly this on the previous slide okay we don't know how much greater we don't have to say how much greater we just need to know that it will be above that because the concentration of H plus will be lower than that because ethanoic acid doesn't split entirely into ions okay and now here's the reverse kind of problem also dealing with ethanoic acid so you might think oh we can't be very precise about this but we're asked for the H plus ion concentration and we're given the pH and we can do that precisely okay so the concentration of H plus is 10 to the minus pH and that's 10 to the minus 3.21 here and that equals 6.17 times 10 to the minus 4 moles per liter okay so that's the kind of things we have to do with acids all right I'm going to make it a little bit more complicated now we're going to do a basic solution okay now remember um, whenever we're doing uh, pH calculations for basic solutions we're probably going to have to have in mind this formula that Kw equals the concentration of H plus multiplied by the concentration of OH minus and that that equals 10 to the minus 14 if we're at 25 degrees centigrade of course okay so here we've got a 0.56 mole per litre solution of sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide is a strong base 
strong electrolyte, so we're going to get one mole of hydroxide ions for every mole of sodium hydroxide. And our concentration of OH minus, that's going to be 0.56. So my concentration of H plus, that's going to be 10 to the minus 4, 14 divided by that. So 10 to the minus 14 over 0.56. And what does that equal? Uh, that equals 1.786 times 10 to the minus 14. Okay, I now know the concentration of H plus and I can find the pH. pH equals minus log. I'm not going to write all that out again, so I'll just put answer. All right, so minus log to the base 10 of the answer is what we're looking for, so I'll do minus log of that number and I'll find that the pH is 13.748. Okay, now you might be wondering why have I given that to five, signific five significant figures? Surely I only need to use three. Yes, you do only need to use three, but I just wanted to show you something here using this pOH thing that we discussed in the previous film. Okay, now pOH, remember, is minus log to the base 10 of the OH minus ion concentration. And in a previous problem, we did minus log to the base 10 of 0.56, and we found that that was 0.252. Okay, so I haven't done that in my head, but I just remember it from a previous problem. Now I also might remember that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. That's just a restatement of this expression, it's just taking logs of everything. Okay, so in other words, my pH will be equal to 14 minus the pOH, which was 0.252, and that equals 13.748. Okay, so that's just another way of arriving at the answer. Which way you do it is up to you. You just have to be sure that you understand what you're doing. Okay, moving on to our final problem for this film. What is the concentration of a barium hydroxide solution with a pH of 12.74? Barium hydroxide has this formula, BaOH2. Okay, we're told the pH of 12.74. So in other words, we know that the concentration of H plus ions is 10 to the minus 12.74. And I can't do that in my head, so I've done it on my calculator, and that's 1.82 times 10 to the minus 13. Okay. Again, using the expression for Kw, I can now find the concentration of OH minus ions. I simply say it's 10 to the minus 14 over what I've just found, so the answer, and that equals 0 0.0550 moles per litre. I'm back in three significant figures here, okay, that's not my final answer. Why is it not my final answer? Because the concentration of OH- minus is not the same as the concentration of barium hydroxide. Because I've got two hydroxide ions here, the concentration of barium hydroxide is going to be half the concentration of OH minus ions, okay? Because I need two of them to make one of these. So that's just going to be half of that value, and that's 0 0.0275 moles per litre. Okay? And there's the final answer. Now I can, if I want, do this using the pOH root, okay? Because I've got the pH here, so pOH must be 14 minus 12.74. If I can write that number. Right, and that equals 1.26. So the pOH is that, so therefore the concentration of OH- minus is simply 10 to the minus 1.26. And that equals this answer here, 0 0.0550. I've still got to do the final step, okay, so you could argue that this isn't an awful lot easier, and certainly if you've got a calculator, then you can just do that, and you get the right answers. Okay, so hopefully there, a bit of practice at all the different type of pH calculations that you have to be able to do in year 12. Um, I suppose the rest of the calculations that you do in year 12 will be to do with titrations and volumetric analysis, so we'll leave those for another time. Um, ask questions if any of this is difficult, and make sure you practice these, okay? Don't just expect to be able to remember how to do them just because you watched a film on them once upon a time, okay? So ask questions and practice, and good luck.